Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Kyle. Just giving all honor and glory to the Most High, the Holy Spirit, the Wat Kadesh, and His Son, Yeshua the Christ. We just want to give the Most High some praise right now. So do your little step. And while you stepping, go ahead and step on the devil's head. And if you can't step, just give the Most High some praise. Because you know He's been good to you. So let's just give Him some praise right now. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you. Greetings. Peace, peace to you. Today we will be reading out of the book of More and Meaning, Mormon, the prophecy of today's church, and also how the book of Mormon correlates with the Holy Bible. If you have the book of More, turn with me to 2 Nephi chapter 28, starting at the top. Many false churches shall be built up in the last days. They shall teach false and vain and foolish doctrines. Apostasy shall abound because of false teachers. The devil shall rage in the hearts of men. He shall teach all manner of false doctrines. Starting at verse 1. And now, behold, my brethren, have spoken unto you. According as the Spirit has constrained me, wherefore I know that they must surely come to pass. And the things which shall be written out of the book shall be of great worth unto the children of men, and especially unto our seed, which is a remnant of the house of Israel. For it shall come to pass in that day that the churches which are built up and not unto the Lord, when the one shall say unto the other, Behold, I, I am the Lord's, and the other shall say, I, I am the Lord's, and thus shall everyone say that has built up churches and not unto the Lord. We see this today, saints. Churches that are not built up unto the Lord. Brother Jerome sleeping with everybody. Sister so-and-so sleeping with everybody. Husband flirting around with everybody. Husband. Brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so always got to be in somebody's face. We see this in the churches today, y'all. And it's because they have left sound doctrine. Pastors are not preaching sound doctrine. How do we get sound doctrine? Psalms 119, 104, through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Therefore, I hate every precept of man. Therefore, I hate every holiday tradition. Isaiah 28 10 for precept must be upon precept precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little well one might say how do I get understanding through thy precepts one might say who gets the understanding go to Isaiah 28 and 9 whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Those are the ones who get the understanding. Going back to verse four. And they shall contend one with another and their precepts shall contend one with another and they shall teach with their learning and deny the Holy Ghost which giveth utterance. 
How did these priests contend with one another? Can you remember? Well, let me help you. During the Pentecostal movement, there was ones in the church talking about you have the Holy Bat, you have been baptized with the Holy Ghost fire if you're speaking in an unknown tongue. What was that unknown tongue? Hey, my shot, la basha, abracadabra, kadabra da booba. Don't nobody understand that. Can somebody come interpret this? Young lady, please, because I don't understand what she's saying. And I don't even think the interpreter is going to understand what they're saying. I mean, come on, y'all. We have to think. We have to think. We cannot be fooled. Denying the Holy Ghost which giveth utterance, or shall we say for understanding? Speak. To utter a sound or voice is translated to speak. We can see this today, but more so in the Holy Bible, where Peter and John was told not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus or Yeshua. That's what the Sadducees did and priests from that wicked synagogue or church. Pastors are doing this today, saying, quiet y'all, quiet y'all. No, 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 you can't teach this. Don't go read that, you're going off. See in Acts 4.18, And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. You see, the Sadducees and the priests told them to be quiet. Don't utter a thing. Denying the power of the Holy Ghost, the true utterance, the speech. Verse 5, and they deny the power of God, the Holy One of Israel. And they say unto the people, hearken unto us, and hear ye our precept. What that sound like? Come to my church. You like my Mercedes? Look at my Lexus. It's so nice. Come on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hearken unto us, and hear ye our precept. For behold, there is no God today, for the Lord and the Redeemer has done his work, and he has given his power unto men. Behold, hearken ye unto my precept. If they shall say there is a miracle wrought by the hand of the Lord, believe it not. For this day he is not a God of miracles. He has done his work. And yes, and there shall be many which shall say, Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die, and it shall be well with us. Nah, buddy, stop right there. Nah, buddy. What this sound like? Where can we get this precept at? Let's go to Matthew 24, 38. Matthew 24, 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. See, they would precept this to the rapture. You get taken, you done. You out. Game over. No, collect 200. You done. Okay? Get taken if you want to. That's destruction. Took his past tense, taking his present tense. Okay? Verse 8, and there shall also be many which shall say, eat, drink, and be merry. Nevertheless, fear God. He will justify in committing a little sin. Yes, lie a little. Take the advantage of one because of his words. Dig a pit for thy neighbor. There is no harm in this. And do all these things, for tomorrow we die. And if it so be that we are guilty, God will beat us with a few stripes. And at last, we shall be saved in the kingdom of God. Uh-uh. Wrong. You won't be saved. You don't think the most high don't see you? Going to church dressed all nice in your fine, nice clothes and your fine, shiny car. The 
as soon as you leave the church, you go to work at the nut, lying on your co-worker, sneaking around on your co-workers, doing mischievous stuff to get promotions. God see you. He see you. Verse 9. Yea, and there shall be many which shall teach after this manner false and vain and foolish doctrines, and shall be puffed up in their hearts, and shall seek deep to hide their counsels from the Lord, and their words shall be in the dark. And the blood of the saints shall cry from the ground against them. Yes, they have all gone out of the way. They have become corrupted because of pride and because of false teachers and false doctrines their churches have become corrupted and their churches are lifted up because of pride they are puffed up come to my church i got the best church see they doing that over there we don't do that over here no no god's not coming for that one church one body one faith one doctrine he's not coming for all that foolery a perfect church is what he's coming for that's what he's coming for y'all perfect church for behold he that is built upon the rock receiveth it with gladness and he that is built upon a sandy foundation trembleth lest he shall fall where we see that at? Where's the precept to that at? Matthew 7, 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which buildeth his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and fell not. have to stay in God's word and get the understanding okay woe be unto him that shall say we have received the word of God and we need no more of the word of God for we have enough yeah that, that, that goes for these people who, who are not believing in the book of more that goes for these naysayers who don't believe in the Book of Mormon, who don't believe that this is the Word of God. This is the Word of God. I suggest you pick it up and read it. Just a suggestion. For behold, thus says the Lord God, I will give unto the children of men, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. And blessed are those who hearken unto my precepts and lend an ear unto my counsel, for they shall learn wisdom. For unto him that receiveth, I will give more. And from them that shall say, we have enough, from them shall he be taken away that which they have. I, cursed is he that putteth his trust in man or maketh flesh his arm or shall hearken unto the precepts of men save their precepts shall be given by the power of the Holy Ghost woe be unto the Gentiles says the Lord God of hosts watch this for notwithstanding I shall lengthen out mine arm unto them from day to day they will deny me Nevertheless, I will be merciful unto them, says the Lord God, your most high. If they will repent and come unto me, for my arm is lending out all the day long, says the Lord God of hosts. 